You don't give up at the first sign of rejection, do you? The ladies like a man who's persistent. Trust me, kid. Quite a crowd outside. Shame there are so many ne'er-do-wells amongst them. Here's some advice. If someone's after you... We didn't come here to play around. Don't dilly-dally too long. Our next job should be confirmed tonight. We'll talk about it tomorrow. It's getting pretty late. You should sleep. got our new orders. What is it this time? I'm sick of fighting those lizard things. We're doing guard duty at Lazulus Castle. A bit more appealing, eh? Not bad. The Count's throwing a ball. He's invited all the cities rich and powerful, and they don't have the manpower to cover it. <laughs> I bet there'll be some classy drinks on offer. We're heading off as soon as you're all ready. Got that? Ready to go? Hurry up then. We don't have all... I wonder if the castle has a library. I do love visiting libraries. But I suspect I wouldn't be allowed. A ball, eh? Sounds fun. No one will mind if I take a few little hors d'oeuvres, right? Guard duty? Sounds boring. Hopefully I can just stand outside on my own. A ball? That takes me back a bit. I haven't been part of that world for years, mind. But I still remember. Ready to go? Then let's head to the castle. Lazulus Castle, Count Argonon's abode. The wedding was but one month away, and the whole castle was filled with excitement and anticipation. After all, the great houses of Argonon and Rambolt were to be joined in holy matrimony. Such a momentous occasion was the focus of the entire empire. Would you look at that? Well, I'll tell you, this Argonin chap is no slouch. Seren, stop gawping like an idiot. The ball is due to start soon. There could be feuding nobles together in the same place. So take care that nothing unfortunate happens. Sure thing. 
So, Ryan, try not to show off your complete lack of class, eh? Shut your pile! You're a fine one to talk. A knight. What's up? I was just thinking. I've got a long way to go. Ah, oh, you mean the knights? They're in a different league to us. People may fear us mercenaries, but they look down on us too. I'll join them. Someday. <laughs> dream on, mate. It's no dream. Follow me, and I swear I'll make knights out of all of you. I know you will. I need to sort out a few things here before the ball. You can go take a look around. Knowing the layout of the castle might come in handy. Oh yeah, if you want to go back, show this to the guard at the gate. I last saw Lady Callista when she... Is that one of your friends bellowing in the courtyard? Can't you do something? I can't leave my post. mercenary just now and that is what you are is it not I'm saying I can't stand your holier-than-thou attitude your delightful manners are just what one would expect from a mercenary oh you really want your ass kicked don't you then bring it stay your blade general Astar You want some as well, you old git? Lady Mercenary, I apologize to you for my pupil's behavior. However, this is causing quite a spectacle. So would you humor me and leave your weapon sheathed? Sure, whatever. You've killed the mood now anyway. And... I've got better things to do. A minor crisis averted? This day is a joyous one. We ought to enjoy it. Sir Therius, what were you thinking? No one would believe you were a knight if they saw you behave in such a manner. General. The public expects us to act with decorum at all times. To betray that trust is a great dishonor. My sincere apologies. <laughs> Raise your head, Therius. No need to look so depressed. My apologies, General. <laughs> you know, I just paid a visit to the castle barracks. I see. Your thoughts, General. 
Lazarus Island is too peaceful. The result? Knights who forget their swords. They think not of their duty, but only of themselves. I agree, General. The knights I see here are totally devoid of aspirations. Indeed, the mercenary we just met seemed much more adept as a swordsman. Quite. Therius, I am thinking of training another knight here. You wish to take on a new pupil? <laughs> Is that worry I hear? Fear not, I doubt anyone could surpass you. Therius, I feel that the cloying peace of this island hides something darker. If there is anywhere that requires honorable knights, is it not this island? Agreed. With each day that goes by, more pain is caused throughout the Empire by the land's decay. And this island is a key location. So having a knight here who the people can trust could ensure peace throughout the entire Empire. Indeed. So Therius, when that time comes, you must work together with that person. Yes, General. It will be as you wish. Therius, it's just you and me. No need to be so formal. As you command. Therius, I just said not to... No. No wonder you're not a hit with the ladies. The city's nice enough, but the castle's filled with some right creeps. Entry is forbidden to all but knights. Leave immediately. That uncle... I heard General Astar is searching the castle for something. I heard it's something to do with the decaying of the land. Seren's flashed her fangs, eh? She excels at making trouble. By the way, I think Dagron's all done with the preparation. He should still be on the second floor, near the... How did the ruler of one little island end up with a castle as grand as this? He's got to be hiding something. I own a ship. Quite natural, considering my status as an import trader. Why don't you accompany me? Spending dusk on a boat is particularly enjoyable. You do talk about yourself a lot. Hmm? Uh, what did you say? <laughs> well, isn't that wonderful? It seems that... We finished sorting out the details. Right, time for work. Don't let me down. Lady Callista's engagement was to be celebrated with an extravagant ball. Nobles and aristocrats gathered from all over not wishing to miss such an occasion.
Zail, we're on duty. Shut your mouth. But there's almost nothing to do. Well, you better get used to it. This might not be a one-off. If we play our cards right, we'll be attending these events regularly. Come on. Do you really believe that? Just pay attention. You don't want to embarrass yourself when the time comes. If we can impress people now, then be- Oi! Mercenary! Here! Now! You do not even look at the Count or Lord Jarrell! You got that? Oi! Mercenary! You do not even look- Hey, take a look. That's our boss, Count Harganen. He was the previous Count's younger brother, had no title of his own. But the previous Count suddenly died some years ago. His daughter, Callista, should have succeeded him. But she's a woman, and at the time she was just a child. So that was when our boss stepped in to be the head of the family. That said, it's not all due to luck. He's got cunning and guile, too. In only a few years, he's expanded his family's power and influence significantly. And that man next to him is Lord Jural, heir to the house of Duke Rambolt. He's the man Lady Callista is going to marry. The house of Rambolt is famous for having imperial blood in its lineage, but it's a house on the decline. Lord Jural's marriage to the daughter of a mere count can only be a play for power. They can see that the house of Argonan is on the rise. Lords and ladies! Presenting Lady Callista! Oh, wow! Look at her! 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 Isn't that... No doubt. It's Lisa. Now that's a shock. It's like... She's a completely different person. Zale, nobles are out of our league. All the more so with the Count's niece. Try and forget what happened last night. For both your sakes. Look, there's something wrong with Lady Callista. Where are you going, my muse? I must apologize, Lord Jarrell. I feel somewhat woozy. Wait, I... <laughs> such a delicate flower, no doubt nervous. It is her first time at such a magnificent ball, you see. Oi! 
You! Get back to your post! Let me pass. I need to go outside. What are you yapping on about? Oh boy. Hey. He said there was a change to the roster. Weren't you paying? I have heard no- That's odd. Look. I cannot leave my position. Well said. Zale, new orders. Guard this spot. Lisa. S sorry, I mean Lady Callista, right? Zale, why are you here? Yeah, my fault for not mentioning it earlier. Wait, where are my manners? My services have been contracted by the Count. As a hired guard, milady. You're a mercenary. Then it seems we were both hiding something. I suppose we're even. And please, don't talk to me in such a formal way. But, milady. It's okay. Nobody's listening. You have my special permission. I am truly grateful for your kind words, milady. <laughs> Seriously, you're the Count's niece? I gotta say, I was surprised. But it does explain a bit about last night. Was I that strange? No. I just thought a smelly ogre had disguised himself as a human. <gasps> what do you mean, himself? <laughs> <laughs> say, Callista, are you okay? You look like you were gonna cry. What? If you don't want to get married, you should just refuse the offer. But my uncle would never allow it. He aims to put Jural in a position of power within the Empire, then use his influence from behind the scenes. And he's willing to do absolutely anything to achieve that goal. Anything. When my father passed away, my uncle inherited his title and land. This place changed a lot after that. All who opposed my uncle disappeared. Issues which were discussed openly started to be resolved in secret, behind closed doors. People started dying under mysterious circumstances. Sometimes I even wonder about my father's sudden passing. But if I oppose my uncle, I dread to think what will happen to everyone. I don't have a choice. But, Callista, surely you can't be... Of course I'm not happy with it. How could I be? They watch me, even when I sleep. It's impossible to get a single moment's peace. Then I wake up the next morning and hear that someone's died. Just another victim of my uncle's ambitions, no doubt. I feel so weak and powerless. Like I have to put up with it until I die. I don't know what I should do. <laughs> Lord Jural, over here! Ah, here is my muse. <laughs> Callista. An opera without the leading lady makes for a rather poor show, do you not think? Are you trying to embarrass me, my kitten? No, I'm sorry, it's just... Yes, yes, never mind. Now, come with me! Lord Jural, please wait! Just who are you? A mercenary? My lord, Lady Callista has informed me that she isn't feeling well. Please let her rest for a while. I'll do no such thing. She is my betrothed. What I do with her is my business. Stand aside. If she's your fiancé, shouldn't you treat her a bit better than that? Zale! What did you say? Just what are your intentions towards Callista, you cur? It seems you are enjoying your private little chat. Lord Jural, please stop. That's not how it was at all. Why do you defend such a lowly wretch? 
Oh, I see. Callista, how could you let yourself be seduced by this commoner? No, you're mistaken. I will not tolerate you openly wooing my betrothed. Draw your sword, you filthy dog. What's wrong? Are you scared, you craven cur? What? Just now I heard screams. What are you babbling about? Face me, you worm. Quiet! It's the correct. What? That's impossible! This is Nazimus Castle! Why are the Gurak here? No! Look out! What's that? Lord Jarrell, I'll hold them off here. You take Lady Callista somewhere safe. Someone, please! Save me! <laughs> Callista! Stand back! There's so many of them. Zen, what do we do? Well, I am a mercenary after all. It's my job to fight them off. Then I shall fight too. Are you out of your mind? This is a real battle. You could die. Are you okay, Zael? Here, I'll see to your wounds. Thanks. Is this the same magic that Narania uses? When it comes to using magic, no one can rival the House of Arganon. Really? But... The Garak haven't attacked us in decades. Why now? Kalista, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. I'm going to fight too. What? I told you, my magic use is without fear. Okay. Just take care. Right. <laughs> 